Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Solo, this is Craftopia, and today we're going gambling. Because I thought it might be fun to pop 100 top grade gotchas and see what kind of epic stuff we can get. Uh, you can find pretty much anything in these, and even some NPC quest, uh, quest reward items like Mjolnir and Sharpshooter. That way you can kind of bypass that. Uh, disclaimer as well, this is the Steam Edition, and I believe that is the most current up-to-date version versus like Game Pass and Xbox, so just keep that in mind. And also, uh, get a little fan back there. Alright, so here we are in the dojo that's currently under construction, and let me tell you what I'm talking about. In Craftopia, when you kill a boss of a higher level island, they usually have a chance to drop something called an Equipment Gotcha Coin. This coin, you can exchange it if you build and you place these prism gotchas right here. Uh, you can exchange them for a top grade gotcha, which is this thing right here. Throw it on the ground and you'll get some random item. Uh, if you're the type of person that loves the exhilarating rush of opening card packs and loot crates, then this will be right up your alley. Bam. Bang. So we got a Dried Scarlet Eyes Hero Sword. Now it's only a 6 star, you can get all the way up uh, 13, 14 star items, which are above what we can currently make. Alright, so we've got our chests here for all the loot. And the way we're going to do this is I'm going to open like 20, 25, whatever, at a time. Grab everything, kind of sort it out into the chests here, and then we'll run through everything and... See what we get. So, buckle up, let's go. The fuck, man, get out of the way. Oh. Let's. Okay. Apparently the uh the fish tank has no no actual top to it. So this is where we live now. All right, so that was all 100 of them. Give me just a second to organize all these and we'll be right back. All right, um, welcome back. I added a couple more chests just for the ease of organization here on my own psyche. But uh, here we go, here's a general idea of what you're gonna get out of about a uh, hundred top grade gotchas. So this top chest here, we've got all the hats and all the headgear that we got and a couple flight units. So we got a couple gliders, got a couple of decent pants, I guess. Baseball caps, uh, hats, the horse head. This comes with a couple of nice abilities. This one's actually not bad at all because this, I never make the fox mask trial. This thing, I'm not gonna go around and catch 50 foxes. Just. I mean, I could make a little farm for him and everything and do that, but it's not worth my time currently. So it's nice to get these. You can give them to another character or just use them yourself if you want. And then we got some air crowns. This comes with arc heal or arch heal, however you prefer. And then a couple of glittering crowns there. Cool. And in the body gear here, we got everything from six star orange capes, 
this was kind of like basically the beginner gear. Uh, we even got some of the 8 star versions, which is the upgraded version. So quote unquote technically the higher tier. The high dragon and the assault dragon. Got a Hakama with a purple enchant on it. The leather curious, which is nice because again, these things, hard leather is usually a more tedious thing to farm. Got the red wizard cloak. Again, some eight star gear setups in here. So this is an easy way to find some, especially like that. That's This is, was really only good if you're, <laughs> if you're going deep into the back speed there. And then we also got the elemental Pitasos? Pitasos? Awesome. Moving on. We got some... This is all of the accessories and the auxiliary equipment that we got out of it. This is probably the best thing that we picked up here, the Dragon's Amulet of Passion 1. Because not only do you get a great enchant with it, but you can also build this into the level 2 amulet. Carry that Dragon's Enchant over onto this, and then add in these other enchantments as well. We got one of every immunity bracelet. This one actually came with Berserker, so that's interesting. This is a pretty hefty trade-off for a lot of critical presence. And then we even got some auxiliary equipment for guns. So this will let you know. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't done all the testing needed to see if this actually does what it says it does. Increase the maximum range, but you can see all of these. This one's not bad at all because it comes in. Anything with fast talking is excellent in my opinion. And then we got a magic catalyst. All right, now for the weapons. Weapons, we got everything from, these are all the one-handed things we picked up. So we got a lot of one-handed things. Nice stick, pretty decent stick actually. Just run through here and kind of see if there's anything noteworthy. Keep in mind too that any of the leftover ones that you're not using, Bouncing Griffin's Wolf's Sword. Anything that you're not using, you can just put into the refiner and upgrade your uh, excuse me, other weapons. With. Nothing too crazy in there. We got some shields as well. Everything from a two-star copper shield all the way up to the 14 star bone dragon shield. Now this comes in a couple different tiers. You can get it in one, two, or three, and it will come with a higher skill level uh, counter. And you can get this not only from gotchas, but from the bone dragon. I got a couple of them in the desert biome. Another fast talking item. So if you coupled this with the other one, you'd have 20% skill cooldown. Stack that with the 75 that you get from skills, and you can get some pretty decent CDR. Uh, and then now we move on to all of the two-handed weapons. Oh, we got a bunch of great swords, a philosophical claymore. <laughs> this is neat. I wish I never really used the barbarian stone knife because it just gets outclassed so quickly. A lot of the lower tier stuff looks cool, like the Durandal which is similar to the dragon killer here, but it just, it falls off relatively quickly with how fast you can acquire better items. And then we also got a bunch of katanas. Physical critical chance plus 100%. Don't know if that's worth the trade-off though, to be honest. Oh, and then we got some home run bats. These are fun. You can use the full swing ability to just clear some mobs off the map, launch them into space. And then last, arguably the best chest of stuff we got, all the ranged and magic items. We got some iron bows here with a couple different enchantments on them. And then we actually got, we didn't get the Mjolnir, but we did get the sharpshooter. And this one is actually better than the one I am currently using, so this is going to be my new sharpshooter. Then we also got a shotgun tier 3. So in the lineup of shotguns and down the line and everything, that is the highest one available currently. So you can see all this other material it would take to, to make that. You skip all that. Boom. This is the best thing we've got so far. 
And then we got some staffs. We got the Sage's staff, the Wizard's staff, and uh, Kaladanda. And then one fast-talking pastoral staff. This would be better because of the skill cooldown. This is great. This would be better if it was the third rank of it. Unfortunately, again, with this one, the, the second tier just gets outclassed very quickly. Alrighty, well, that was 100 top grade gotchas there. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Kind of seeing what you can expect in those things right now. And then obviously with future updates, we should expect to see that expand. We didn't get everything. Obviously, there's a lot of other things in there and probably some things that I just don't know about. But man, look, look at this nerf bow. This is, this is awesome. Alrighty, people, and don't forget that if you liked the video, please let me know down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss when I drop my next video. Alright, peace everybody, take care.